As some of you may know and some of you may not know, Derek Carr and Devontae Adams will not be playing together for the first time in Las Vegas. They actually went to college together and played multiple years at Fresno State where they both had very good seasons and definitely have each other in part to thank for why they even got drafted in the first place as they were both second round picks. Now that we will see them play with each other again, I thought it could be a fun video to go back and talk about the last time they were teammates and watch some old Fresno State film. So let's just get into it. And one thing I noticed right off the bat, and this is kind of something that I think these are kind of some small nuggets you can pick up on from this is like, oh, this is how their skill sets can work together. This makes some sense. The way this play works is it's a uh, cover one blitz and Derek Carr, you know, is going to take the snap. You see Devontae Adams' route. It's a go route uh, towards the bottom of the screen. So two cars left. Right when this play begins, you see Adams does a pretty good job on that first step. I, I do feel like Adams definitely, uh, you do notice he, he's gotten better with age. He is a better player now than he was when he first got drafted, of course. But one thing that I noticed when watching this play is, oh yeah, Derek Carr is definitely the kind of guy who will just throw the ball up and give his receiver a chance. This is why, you know, when he worked with Crabtree, why they were able to have such good success is because that's kind of what Crabtree can, you know, do is go up and make those types of plays. It's also what Devontae Adams can do, and you're going to see that here. Look, Carr just throws one up. Adams gets open enough that he's able to, you know, go back and make the catch. Does eventually fumble it, so that part wasn't great. But again, mainly talking about the, the fit here, I think that's a good fit, right? Right? I mean, that makes sense, and those two guys can definitely work together well with that kind of stuff. Although now going over to this one for a second, so it's going to be a very similar thing this is you know again you see the play on your screen it does look very similar this one isn't going to quite work out as well watch car takes the snap you're going to see him once again throw this up uh and they're not able to get the completion here and i think it's probably fair to say like okay adams is not you know what he was back then and that's maybe why you could totally make the argument of and eh, I'm just going to throw all this out. Who cares? Although to me, I think there's at least some small details you can learn from this. But if you wanted to just throw it out and say, eh, Adams is just a different player then and Carr's a different player. And, you know, this is we're going back nearly 10 years ago at this point. So can we really uh, find that much with these guys? Well, no, not exactly. It's not as simple as if they had played together two years ago. But I still think as a whole, I'd rather them have some sort of rapport with each other versus not having some sort of rapport with each other. And you see right here. Uh, how, you know, it might not have been perfect every time, but again, the numbers were still very good between them. And I did see some stuff like this where it's going to be man coverage, and you see the route that you, you, Adams is going to be running right here, so watch what happens. As you see, Derek Carr takes the snap, and right here, Adams is just getting ready to cut, and Derek Carr is just about to get into the throwing motion. So timing is oh so important when it comes to wide receiver and quarterback play in, in terms of that chemistry. It's just so important, and so it's good that Derek Carr and Devontae Adams have shown that they can work together. Look at how Carr is going to make the throw, and they are able to pick up a first down there on third down and six, largely due to timing. Because, like, listen, Carr and Devontae Adams are going to have some success. They're too talented to not work together, right? So even before uh, you even look at the old film, if, even if they had never played before, you know it's going to work out to some degree. But like these are the little things that maybe can give you uh, a little bit more optimism and make you feel even a little bit better about it. Although, again, going over to something like this, it was not perfect on every play. Something like this, where it's going to be kind of a, you know, it, it's a similar play, essentially. However, this time you're going to see that Derek Carr's throw is going to be a you know, it's a bit high, and also uh, Adams just isn't quite able to make the catch. Part of that was the contact there. So, again, there was a little bit of clunkiness sometimes as well, but part of that was I just think that they were young and weren't as good of football players as they are now. These are two guys that, in part, were second-round picks because they were a little bit not quite pro-ready just yet, and so that's why I think it's an interesting thing between the two of them. So, yeah, I think that's just that's one additional benefit. Listen, is that any reason why I would trade for Devontae Adams if I was the Raiders? No, I wouldn't even consider that, really. It, it's not like this was a, a Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase thing where their chemistry was, like, out of this world. Like, I watched it, and, and it looked like a good quarterback throwing to a good wide receiver. That's what uh, I think my main takeaway was watching the film. So, uh, again... Sometimes you look at this stuff and you want to find all these super interesting nuggets. And, and I think we found some, right? Like the idea of Carr, when he's blitzed, he does just throw the ball up to his best receiver. Now that best receiver, instead of, you know, uh, Hunter Renfro or uh, Brian Edwards, who are, are good players, but they're not 
you know, Devontae Adams. Now you throw it up to Adams, he can get way more open, even more open than he was getting in college, which might seem weird because you're going up against college talent. Shouldn't you be getting less open? But no, I mean, Devontae Adams is legitimately better now at getting open against uh, NFL corners than he was back in 2013 uh, getting open against college corners. That's He's kind of one of those weird guys where he just has gotten better over the years. That does happen to some players. So that's why things get a little bit, just a little bit interesting. But again, I think one thing that I like about this and one thing that probably will be a benefit is just if they played together for a couple of years, they know how to talk to each other, right? Like you just know like how to say like, hey, I need you to do this this way. You already, you, you know how to each other operates and you're not going to step on each other's toes that way. Whereas, you know, if it's a new player, you might not fully know how to operate and there's a bit of a learning curve there. So that's why uh, you're just, you're avoiding that. There is that small benefit for this. And I just think it's an interesting story, right? I mean, how often does something like this happen where guys play in college together and then, you know, not a full decade later, but somewhat close to a full decade later, end up being teammates in the NFL and not just teammates, not just like two guys on the same team, but like two guys who, you know, had really good success in college and kind of had their breakout in college uh, with playing with each other. And then they go to the NFL where they're both like star players who have Kind of, kind of consistently been, uh, I think, underrated throughout the course of their careers up until now, really, where Adams was constantly considered as like a good wide receiver, but it took till the past couple of years before, like even myself considered him like the elite of the elite. And someone like Derek Carr, I think, uh, similarly, I was always much higher on Carr than the narrative, but the narrative was Carr was an okay quarterback, and I think. Carr has proven these past couple of years. He might not be Mahomes, but he is a, at least a tier two quarterback. He is very good. So, I mean, again, that's the, the end, at the end of the day, you're getting a, a top 10 quarterback with a maybe top one wide receiver. Uh, it's going to work regardless. But there's even some other stuff on tape that I think is uh, even more uh, promising as well, which is kind of fun. And again, these kind of videos, I just enjoy making these sort of weird finding a story from, uh, you know, 2013 and going back and finding old footage and making it work. Uh, I enjoy that kind of stuff. So, uh, that's what I thought about all this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the uh, 2013 Fresno State? Uh, I don't even know what they're, uh, what are they? The Bulldogs, uh, <laughs> whatever their mascot is. Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.